what's poppin'? It's your boy, Challenge the Flocks, you guys. Today is Thursday when this video is released, but as I'm filming this video, today is actually Wednesday because I actually have to do this challenge on a trampoline. And in today's video, the challenge is doing an overnight challenge on the trampoline. This is the very first time I will be doing a I'll be doing this challenge by myself on this trampoline. I never slept out at my house before, so this is my first experience doing so. If you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe, guys. Drop some likes if you guys want to see a part two to me doing the overnight challenge on the trampoline. So, as things were said, guys, I actually want to show you guys what I have with me outside during this challenge. So, I have my covers right there. Of course, I got my tripod, and I'm actually holding the camera right now, so I got my camera as well. And if we actually come over here, you guys will see we got an outlet right here to charge my camera batteries and my computer, because I got my computer, got my uh, camera batteries right there, got my iPhone 7. Right now it's 7.53. It will be getting dark very shortly, and you guys can see today is Wednesday, May the 5th when I'm recording this video so I can do this challenge for you guys. So if my camera does die, there is a outlet right there. So at least I can charge up my camera if it does die. For the most part, my camera batteries are charged up at the moment. It is starting to get dark. There's the beautiful sunrise right there. As you guys can see, it is so beautiful. I love looking at the sunrise. And I know you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. This wouldn't be an overnight challenge on a trampoline without actually jumping on a trampoline. So let's get inside the trampoline and I will actually jump on a trampoline and let's have some fun. Fun times. Here we go. I'm going to do a backflip, guys. Ooh, there's actually a pie cone right here. Look at this, guys. Here, I'll come up close to the camera and show you guys. Look at this. Look what I found. See this? This is actually a pie cone. You don't want to land on that. Let me take off my shoes real quick. Uh, there we go. And here's my other one. Now, I'm just jumping with my socks. Here we go. Make sure I'm not running on the stick either. Let me throw that over there. Okay, guys, I got my sticky right here. I remember somebody asking me how I'm able to do all of this kind of stuff, where I'm just going absolutely crazy like that. I can just boom, 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 boom like that. I can just go crazy with this thing. Somebody asked me, how do I fight like a pro? Well, my answer is I've been practicing for years and years and years. And after all that practice, I was able to teach myself how to fight like a pro like this. I could just go boom, boom, and boom, and boom, and what a little, 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 like that. It's definitely very entertaining, especially when you're watching on camera. It's very cool to watch. I think I'm done fighting with this stick right here for right now. Maybe we could do some more later on tonight. We'll just have to see, but definitely when it's around 3 a.m., we might actually go ghost hunting in the woods. I don't know how that will actually work, but maybe we could just do something scary in the woods, like later on tonight. Like we could just kind of explore the woods at night, but we got to be careful because of the snakes and stuff. I do need, I, I need, I need to make sure that I have snacks and stuff because I'm, I'm going to be hungry later on tonight. I'll tell you guys that right now. I'm going to be very hungry if I don't have any snacks. And plus, they'll be, not, they'll be, they'll be uh, locking the doors and stuff. And it won't be so dark at night because uh, I forgot to mention that, um, I'll show you guys by turning the camera this way and zooming in, you guys will actually see the light right there. That light actually comes on when it gets dark. Not automatically, manually. Uh, somebody has to pull that switch. Like when you turn on your lights in your room, 
that kind of switch. So um, when somebody pulls down that switch in the house, that light will come on when it gets dark manually, not by itself automatically. It won't, it won't turn on automatically. Somebody has to pull down that switch. I don't want to run this battery too long because this is, this is the only battery that I have right now that's fully, well not fully charged. This, this battery actually only has two bars right now and that's not fully charged. It, if, if this battery was fully charged, it would be four bars, not two. I'll pick up the camera in a little bit. Definitely when it gets dark because it's definitely getting dark now. And I look really good right now, especially in this environment. I look really good. I'm actually wearing my Monster Jam shirt right here, guys. It looks very cool. Got, got that black flag right there. It looks awesome. I like this shirt. Well, as I turn off the camera, just five seconds after I turn off the camera, my mom actually turned on the light that I told you guys that somebody manually has to turn on that switch. And now that light's on because now it's getting dark, as you guys can see. So, um, you know, um, I'm glad that we have this light so now we can shoot videos without having to rely on using my iPhone 7 as a flashlight. So that's good, that's good guys. So I'll probably just go lay down on a trampoline for a little while and then um, kind of let my batteries on my camera charge. Not this battery of course, I, I can't charge this battery yet because I already got my uh, other two batteries uh, charging right now and only two batteries can be charged at a time so have to wait a little while so this battery is at two bars so we still got some battery life and I want it to stay that way so um, I'm gonna turn off the camera to save battery life here and I'll lay down for a little while and then pick up the camera in a little while oh hello guys <laughs> if you guys are wondering how I'm actually using a flashlight I'm actually using my iPhone 7 on a tripod right now. Um, as you guys can see right here, this is the tripod. It's actually connect, my phone's connected to the tripod um, on top of the tripod. So I don't have to hold my iPhone 7 as a, um, as a flashlight. So I got a spare hand, woohoo! So I, I, I usually have to um, hold my iPhone 7 and my camera at the same time as I'm filming, but now, I got a mount for my tripod that um, the mount will actually allow my iPhone to um, go on top of the, the, the tripod. Anyways, I'm having fun doing this challenge, guys. Uh, this is not really a challenge for me, but um, it's still a challenge. But um, for me, this is fun. I'm, I'm enjoying myself. It's just having fun, really. It's just a party night, you guys. If you guys want to see more videos like this, drop some likes. If you guys want me to do like a part two to this uh, overnight challenge on a trampoline, drop some likes, guys, and I'll definitely make that happen. I know I keep saying that, guys, but it's just sort of like a reminder um, to remind you guys. Uh, right now, I want to check the time. It's actually 9.14 right now. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. It is, uh, it's 9.14. And I'm going to do my best to uh, stay up as much as possible. I do got school tomorrow. It, it, it shouldn't hurt. It shouldn't hurt me. <laughs> I might be tired in the morning, but I mean, remember, I'm virtual now, full time. Everybody at my school is virtual. Either you go to school one week and the other week you go virtual. Or you can be virtual full time or even be at school full time in person. There's a lot of options because of this COVID-19. That's why there's those options right there. I mean, this is very, very cool at the same time, um, especially during my lifetime. Um, I don't think we're gonna ever have something like this in a long time. Um, I think it's very fascinating that, um, you know, we have these options. It's very blessed, very blessed about that. Um, but it's really about people's safety, really. Um, some people are comfortable being virtual, some people are not. Some people like working at school. Some people can't focus at home. It's just a lot of stuff, you know? I guess uh, for right now, guys, I'll probably continue to drink my Powerade and I'll probably watch a little bit of videos on my phone. So I'm gonna take off my, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take off 
my, uh, my, I'm gonna take my phone off the tripod, which I already have done, and I'm probably going to uh, watch some videos on my phone um, for a little while uh, on YouTube. I guess I'll pick up the camera in a little while, guys. Um, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the video so far. I hope you guys are. All right, guys, I'll pick up the camera in a little bit. Just a little update, guys. Right now, it's 9.40. Just my little thoughts, guys. You know, I told you guys that I'm not nervous about this challenge or anything, but, you know, the more I think about it, you know, I'm gonna be locked out here. I'm gonna be locked out here. You know, you feel so safe inside your house because it's your home, you're locked in, and you're safe. It's your home. But you're outside where everybody can get to you. It's definitely a, um, a fear a little bit um, because I've never done this before besides um, you know doing this challenge with Adam but um, now I'm doing this by myself for the very first time and this is my first time actually sleeping outside of my house I've never done this before my 18 years of being in this world I've been sleeping inside of my house and this is totally different for myself and I'm glad that I'm recording this because otherwise if I didn't if I if I never had a YouTube channel I wouldn't be doing this right now of course um, but I do have a YouTube channel and you guys matter so much to me and uh, <laughs> I'm willing to take many many risk for you guys because you guys matter a lot to me another thing that I'm worried about is like snakes and stuff because um, there could be snakes coming out of nowhere I'm just a little little nervous about it because I will be locked out and you can hear frogs, ribbit ribbit, you can hear owls sometimes. I do need to brush my teeth but now I'm not allowed to go back inside because it's just part of the challenge. I'm not allowed to go back inside guys because if I do go back inside the house it will um, break the challenge and I don't want to do that. I don't want to um, fail the challenge especially, especially when I'm really nervous right now. I'm really nervous like a tree branch or something, like a tree branch could fall down on me because there's like trees above me. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about that, but I should be okay. Right? There's nothing to worry about really. I had to move those leaves over there. You guys see those leaves? I just moved them away um, because they were all over my stuff. So all those leaves just, they're just, they've been building up in here for, for the past year or so because they just, they fall out of the sky. Not really. They just fall off the trees and then they become dead, dead leaves. Well, I'm not sure if these are actually like tree branches. No, these are not. These are just leaves. Things get in here. I, I really don't know how. It's a little confusing. But we do got trees above us. So it's 945. Um, I still haven't finished my drink either. I got my tripod. This is what that mount looks like. See, I just um, get my, my phone. I just put it on the tripod like that. And I can just put it up and use it as a flashlight like that. I got my other batteries charging right now at the moment. So I just dropped my phone by accident. Um, so I got my other my other camera batteries charging right now at the moment. So let's go check on my other batteries. Let's go see uh, what 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 percentage uh, my um, my camera batteries are at at the moment. So I will get up. I gotta get my shoes on. Uh, I took off my shoes uh, because I don't want to get this trampoline dirty, especially I'm going to be sleeping on here. Now I'm just going to put my shoe on. There's my right foot. Uh, there we go. Now there's my my left shoe right here. So I'll put this shoe on just like that. Uh, this, like that. <laughs> there we go. Now I'll pick this up. And we actually got a light, so I could just turn this off. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to show you. There we go. One of them is at full, um, full battery because you guys can see it. It's at four bars. The other one is at two bars. So I got two full charge batteries. This one's actually the one that's in the camera. This battery is actually about to die. This one's at two bars. It was at four bars, but then. Um, now this battery's about to die pretty soon. So let me change the batteries out real quick, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, so I changed the two-bar battery. It's supposed to be at four bars, 
in order for it to be fully charged. So the battery that I just had in the camera was at two bars, not at four bars. If it was at four bars, it would be fully charged, but it's at two bars, so it's not fully charged. But this battery right here in the camera now is at four bars, which means it is fully charged. So I'm trying to figure out what we can do. I don't really want to go back on the trampoline, really, to be honest. I'm really thinking about, um, I'm really thinking about actually going in the woods let me move this you guys are with me you guys will stay with me do not leave me guys please don't leave me out here by myself what is that you can you see that Let's see what is this yeah what is this what the freak is that it's a tire wheel very sketchy now it's very dark it's like slender man out here because something could come at me you could just get jump scared. Something's gonna come at me, I swear. Okay, okay. Let's get out of here, guys. I'm I'm done with this. I'm done with this. So now, <laughs> I'm not scared, guys. There's nothing to uh, be scared about. I mean, I might be a little scared, but uh, for the most part, I'm okay. I'm really enjoying filming this video for you guys. This is just so much fun shooting this video for you guys like doing an overnight challenge on a trampoline for you guys i definitely want to do i want to do more videos like this if you guys want me to it's up to you guys all you got to do to let me know that you guys want me to do more videos like this is to like this video and i'll do a part two to me doing an overnight challenge on the trampoline 10 04 right now guys as you guys can see it's 10 04 now hold on i have to unlock my phone i have to put my password in all that kind of stuff how many hours until 3 a.m oh what oh my friend adrian's calling me guys yo what's up bro yo what's good bro what's what, what are you up to bro man i'm just chilling you know dude i went in the woods I, dude, it, it, it was like really tripping, dude. How long have you been on the outside trampoline for? Dude, I haven't, I haven't went, I haven't went inside. Oh wait, oh wait. What's up, vlog? How's it going? <laughs> yeah, bro, dude, I've been vlogging like a while now. Dang, dang, you staying up on that? Yeah, I'm gonna try, dude. I'm gonna try. Hey, good, good luck, good luck. Dude, it's crazy, dude. Hey. You're gonna be sleeping out there while I'm gonna be sleeping in my comfy bed all night. Ah, oh, you're, you're tripping, bro. You're tripping. <laughs> Dude, it's actually pretty comfortable, though. I'm not gonna lie. It's not. Yeah. But, I mean, it, it is a little trippy out here, though. Like, it's just. Yeah, like, uh, the only thing is, it's just like, I wanna get locked out and stuff. It's just. Chargers or something. Yeah, I actually do got an outlet, like, um,. It's right over here. Wait, it's kind of dark in it. Yeah, it's it's right there. <laughs> we got I got an outlet right here, so are I can. You, are you gonna try to sleep, or are you gonna try to like stay up all night? Dude, I, I'm actually gonna try to stay up all night. Dude, it, it, I can show you the trampoline. It's actually right over here. Do you see it in the background? Yeah. Yeah, that's the trampoline. It's it, it, it's very comfortable. I got my pillows. I got my covers and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. It's not that scary. It's just, you know, that feeling of getting locked out and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only thing. This is my first time actually doing this at my house. I've done it before with Adam, but, like, i never done it by myself. Um, I definitely got the audience with me, though. I mean, it's not really by yeah, myself. Thanks. Well, hey, I wish you best of luck. Hopefully, everything goes well. Good luck, good luck. That's all I really got to say. <laughs> I appreciate it, bro. That means a lot. Yeah. All right, Chandler. I'll talk to you later, brother. All right, bro. See you, man. All right, bro. Good luck. See you. That was my uh, best friend, Adrian. Uh, we actually we met on Xbox, and um, we we never met in real life or anything. But like, uh, he started a uh, RC clan, and back in 2016, I actually had an old YouTube channel. Uh, voices gaming and I used to do like little montages of myself on Call of Duty Ghost like just like sort of like phase sort of but we just started a uh, RC clan that's what it was called it was pretty cool and stuff and I known him for about four or five years now almost it's crazy I don't know what to do at the moment like 
I actually, oh, wait a minute, guys. I actually have toothpaste in the car. And I think my mom, I think, I think she actually left the car unlocked. I'm not really supposed to open the gate because of Tom, but um, it should be okay. Like, as long as I be quiet. This is a little sketchy out here, but it's only 1010 10 right now. Literally, it's 1010 10 right now. Literally, you guys can see it's 1010. 10. Over here, um, let me see. Um, there's my luggage. Um, when I went over to, um, sorry about that. Uh, I, when I went over to my girlfriend's last weekend, I got my luggage right here. But what I'm looking for is my toothpaste. And now I'm gonna brush my teeth right now at this moment because I want to make sure I have clean teeth. I don't want to have broken teeth. I got my toothbrush right here. I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky I left my luggage out in the car. I don't take it in because I usually wait for the um, you know for the weekend because I, I come right back over uh, spend the weekend with my girlfriend so I just leave my luggage in the car because otherwise if I just bring it in I'm just gonna bring it back out for the weekend so sometimes especially for a video like this for a challenge where you're not allowed to go back inside the house I mean I kind of made up the rules for myself just for the video but I mean I can go back inside the house but I got my toothbrush right here so it really don't require me to go back inside the house. So uh, I'll probably just cover my mouth and I'll probably just go ahead and brush my teeth and pick up the camera after I'm done brushing my teeth because I don't want you guys having to see all this um, toothpaste and stuff. It's not something you guys want to watch. It's not entertaining. So I'll turn off the camera. Um, let me brush my teeth real quick and then I'll pick up the camera after I'm done brushing my teeth. Okay guys, so I just got done brushing my teeth I also got my pajamas uh, for tonight. Luckily, I got my luggage right here that has my pajamas. And of course, I'm actually wearing the same shirt that I was wearing this whole entire video, pretty much. Um, I'm just gonna wear that as well uh, with my pajamas so I can feel comfortable when I'm sleeping, if I do sleep. Um, uh, I probably uh, won't be sleeping because you know, um, I'm gonna try to stay up as much as possible, but I know at a certain point I will probably fall asleep. I got my pajamas right here. If I do decide to go to sleep, I probably won't wear my pajamas. I just got them just in case. I don't wanna have to go back and get my pajamas, so I just got them while I was over there brushing my teeth. So, as things were said, guys, I brushed my teeth, I got my pajamas, just in case I do decide to go to sleep. I didn't want to have to go all the way back to the car in the middle of the night just to get my pajamas while I was already over there. So, I decided while I was already there, I decided to just go ahead and grab them. And now, we made our way back, and um, I think I'm just going to hang out at the trampoline for a little while, maybe watch some YouTube or something for a little while. And I guess I will um, pick up um, the vlog in a little while. So, um, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, I'll hang out at the trampoline for a little while. And I'll pick up the camera in a little bit. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see me pretty well. Um, so, at the moment, guys, I'm... I'm getting really hungry at the moment. Um, I know I said that I can't go inside, so what I can do is call my mom and ask her if I could have something to eat. So I'm gonna call her right now. Um, I didn't think about that before the camera turned on. Um, I just thought about that when the camera turned on for some odd reason. I know this is kind of weird um, from my mom's standpoint. She's like, why the freak can that boy just come in here and talk to me? <laughs> well, it's for a challenge, so. Hi, this is Mary. She's not responding. I gotta eat, guys. I, I mean, oh, I gotta turn the flashlight back on. I gotta eat, guys. Um, I mean, I think it shouldn't hurt the challenge, really, because all I gotta do is just go inside and get something to eat, so. I think I'm gonna go inside and eat. I think I might actually um, go get my food and just come right back outside. That's what I was gonna do anyways. What the freak is that? The, the things that I catch on camera, what is that? Is that a butterfly? What the? Is that a butterfly? Oh my god, what is that? The things that I catch on camera. What, what is that, guys? 
That is about. Oh, what the? Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, what the freak is that thing? What the? F the things that I get on camera is so, so odd. So odd. Things I don't see off camera. Um, it's actually up there. You guys can see it. Where'd it go? I went back outside. Oh, what the? F oh, there it is. There it is. He's right there on the ladder. Okay. I don't know what that thing is. He's stuck. Um, I'm not sure what that thing is. Is that a dragonfly? It was, what the? F oh my god, that thing just went flying. Okay, guys. So, I just got done eating some pizza rolls, but guess what? That's not even it, guys. I actually got some Oreos. That's not it, guys. I also got a ice cream sandwich. I gotta eat this shortly because otherwise it will melt. So, uh, I also got a Pop Tart. And I also got a pizza. And I got a Gatorade right here. It's frozen cold. And. You can't eat Oreos without some milk. So I got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff, guys. So um, I'll definitely um, start eating my food here uh, because I'll be getting locked out here. I'm already locked out now. Um, so um, I'll be locked out the whole entire night. So this is all the food that I got for the whole night. Um, so I got a lot of stuff. So. Um, I think there's no complaining here. So, um, the, the, um, my phone on the tripod just fell over on the camera. If you guys heard that sound, that's what that was. Um, so, uh, I'll definitely, um, I'll be eating my food and stuff. I'll be watching YouTube as well. And, uh, I got my Chromebook as well, guys. My school computer. Because uh, I got signed in early in the morning at 8.30. That's when my first block class starts at 8.30 in the morning. So I got my Chromebook not over here at the trampoline. Because, um, you know, I don't want it to get messed up or anything. Because I don't want to be responsible for it. So uh, it's over there um, back there in the back porch. As well as my computer as well. Um, all my electronics and stuff. So... Um, as things were said, guys, I'll, um, continue to eat my food. Those pizza rolls are pretty good. Um, so, I'll eat my food, guys. Uh, I think I'll save the Pop-Tarts for the morning. These Pop-Tarts right here. These are actually, uh, s'mores. So, um, these are, these are gonna be pretty good in the morning. I wish the milk would still be good in the morning, but that milk will go bad in the next five not five minutes probably in the next hour it'll go bad uh, i have to drink the milk before it, um, it goes bad okay guys so i just got done eating my pizza my oreos and all that kind of stuff and this battery is actually about to die right now so i gotta go get some more batteries uh they're over there charging up in the um the back porch as you guys saw earlier in the vlog overnight challenge video i still got some milk to drink i have to finish it before it goes bad um otherwise it will go bad so let me go get the batteries and i'll put the camera on a tripod and we'll do a milk challenge for this overnight challenge overnight challenge on a trampoline video <laughs> i'm actually over here um kind of in a dark area over here in the backyard guys i'm still in the backyard but i'm actually over here in a dark area I got some milk right here and um, if I don't drink this milk now it will go bad so I'm thinking about doing a milk challenge so if you guys aren't already subscribed make sure to subscribe guys drop some likes if you guys want to see a part three of me doing the milk challenge there's only a little bit left here see it's only up to right here not that much it's not like it's a lot of milk so um i've been drinking a lot of milk lately so here we go guys <sighs> a 
Look at there, guys. There's no more milk. I would say probably around to wake up or probably to be on time in my class at 8.30 because my class starts at 8.30. Um, I would have to say probably around 7.30. So we'll set my alarm clock probably around 7.30, but I'll definitely, um, <sighs> that scared me. The phone just fell off my tripod. Oh my God. That really scared me. I did not expect to get scared of my phone just falling off my tripod. While we're in this environment, you know, I'm thinking about like, I know it's dark out here. It's very dark out here. I'm thinking about doing like some horror, like scary stories. But I know if I do that, I might scare myself. Drop some likes if you guys are ready. Or let me know down in the comments down below if you guys are ready. Here we go, guys. So. Once upon a time, there was a boy named John. He was only 16 years old. He goes to high school. It's his very first year as a freshman, ninth grade year. And he has straight A's on his first year of high school. He's very popular. His life sounds so amazing, but what you don't know his, his place, his environment, his neighborhood is not as safe as it sounds. People carry guns for a reason, and the reason is because of the claw. He is a creature that lives in the woods. Not sure if it's a male or female. This creature, he stalks people. He watches people try their best. They try to put security cameras up. They try to do everything they possibly can to figure out what this thing is. But they can't figure it out. And this thing is just is clawing people up. It's not safe. It's not a safe environment for John. John goes home one day. He has a test the next day. He had a math test the next day. So he rushes home. He goes to his room. He makes it home and he gets home around 4.30 and when he gets home, he rushes to his room and he studies for this test. As he plays his music, as he is studying, so John, he studies for his test. Loud, boosted music as it plays. The claw is listening and the claw makes his way to that noise and the claw opens the door. And he sees the boy studying for his test. And the claw makes his way behind him. The claw stands behind him very tall. The boy, the boy looks behind him. He is standing right behind him. Frightened, the boy was John. He tried to move, he tried to run. Claw, he tried to grab the boy as the boy ran. But he missed, he missed. And the boy makes his way out of the room. The boy drives away. But the boy escaped. And the claw was very, very disturbed and very angry at the boy for playing that loud music. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that horror story sort of thing. But anyways guys, I'm really, I'm really getting tired. I got school tomorrow. It's actually 12.24 right now guys. As you guys can see, it's 12.24 right now. And today is officially Thursday. When this video is being released, today is actually Thursday. That's pretty cool. I was telling you guys like maybe I can go out in the woods at 3 a.m. But I don't know because I do got school tomorrow and of course I can. I can actually stay up all night. I can. But I got school tomorrow. I'm going to be really tired in the morning. How many hours until 7.30 a.m.? It's seven hours until then. 
Okay, we got seven hours of sleep. That's perfect. Set alarm clock for 7.30 a.m. I've turned on your 7.30 alarm. All right, guys. So she set my 7.30 a.m. alarm clock. Siri did. So um, I'll wake up at 7.30 in the morning because I got my first block at 8.30 in the morning. I'm so excited about tomorrow. Like tomorrow, Friday. The Bad Batch show is being released, the second episode. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm dying to watch that. Also, I'm going over for, um, you know, hanging out with Haley for the weekend. I believe, well, actually this weekend, we got Mother's Day. We'll have to see about Mother's Day. I have to talk to my mom today about um, what's going on Mother's Day. Either I'm going over there or not. But if I do go over there this weekend on Mother's Day over at my girlfriend's, Haley's, uh, they're actually having uh, Mother's Day dinner over there, so I kind of want to go over there. But I want to be here for my mom, of course, so um, I'll check with her and see what she says. Oh, this camera battery's actually about to die. Well, got to turn off the camera then. Before I go to bed, guys, I was ready to go to bed, but um, I have to go get another battery that's over there in the um, back porch because this battery in the camera is actually about to die. It's at one bar. So, um, I'm gonna go get another battery in there and then come back to the trampoline and then uh, go to bed from there. And then I'll be able to pick up the camera in the morning as I wake up versus having to wake up and then go get the battery. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. So, um, you know, I could just wake up, have a full charge battery ready to go as I wake up right next to me. The camera will be right next to me, so. All right, guys, good night. I'm sorry. I, I just want to let you guys know um, I'm going to go get the other battery, and then I'll pick up the camera in the morning. So I'll see you guys in the morning, guys. What the freak is that? I know you guys heard that. I heard, like, a weird freaking sound. There's some kind of weird creature out there. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not in there doing that 3, um, 3 a.m. crap. What time is it? Um, let me see what time it is. It's 1.40. I really want to know what that was. I hope it caught on camera. I know, I said that I'll pick up the camera in the morning. But, you know, I heard that weird, 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 weird sound. It was weird. Um, it was coming out there in the woods, so it does go to show that there's there's some weird creatures out there um, If you guys know what that creature is, let me know down in the comments down below It's just I can't sleep. I can't sleep. It's just it's cold. It's freezing um, I've, I got my covers on but I'm still cold see That's exactly what I'm talking about. People speeding. I just can't sleep like this, guys. I can't. See, look, when I when I try to sleep like on the side like this, it's just it's not comfortable at all. I don't got a jacket. I gotta go all the way up to the front to go get my jacket. It's in the car. I got my leather jacket in the front. I guess we could go get my jacket out of the car. Okay guys, I got my shoes on as you guys can see. Oh my god, it's almost two o'clock in the morning right now. Okay guys, so I got my my leather jacket here as you guys can see and I got my hoodie as well as you guys can see. I do have to say like this is a fun video. This is not meant to um, be taken seriously. <laughs> I'm not, I don't think I failed the challenge actually. Well, I did because, you know, I'm not on the trampoline now. I'm supposed to stay on it for overnight, pretty much. I guess I'll tell you what, you guys decide either I failed or I preceded the overnight challenge because I will be staying out here all night. I'm being 100% serious, guys. I will be staying out here all night. I'm so glad it didn't rain tonight. I'm glad I got to film this video for you guys. All the lights are off. <laughs> well, you guys haven't seen it yet. Hold on. 
guys can see. The lights are off. I'm gonna do some video editing and stuff like that for right now. Go on ahead and start editing this video so that I can get this video out for you guys early. Uh, I'll just start editing this video for a little while and then I'll pick up the camera and hopefully maybe by the time I pick up the camera I'll be able to come up with something to do for the vlog or for the challenge, whatever you guys want to call it. So, Good morning guys! Well, guess what guys? I actually failed the challenge of the overnight challenge on the trampoline because I actually decided to go back inside. Uh, Tom actually left the door open for me. So I was able to make my way back inside. I wasn't comfortable sleeping on this sort of bed right here. And also definitely not the trampoline. I wasn't comfortable either. So next time that I do this challenge, I'm gonna make sure that I'm prepared next time. Like I have more covers and um, more comfort so I can actually sleep. But um, also it was very difficult to go to sleep because I keep on hearing noises, girls screaming and um, a weird noise out in the woods and people speeding down the road and it was really cold but um other than that not being able to sleep wise i had very fun a lot of fun filming this video for you guys it was supposed to be fun um i, I had a lot of fun and it's not meant to take in this challenge too seriously i didn't want to take it too seriously i was just having fun so as things were said guys Overall, I had so much fun filming this video for you guys. I still got to get my stuff off the trampoline, but I decided not to <laughs> because uh, I might be doing this challenge again. And I got drinks up there and all that kind of stuff. So when I do this challenge again, I will have um, all my stuff already there. But um, I'll go ahead and get this video out for you guys. Um, if you guys want to see a part two to the overnight on a trampoline challenge, Drop some likes guys, subscribe if you guys aren't already. We are on the road for 400 subscribers guys. That's crazy. Uh, we're getting there. I mean, it's just non-stop grinding, staying consistent, uploading videos for you guys. Um, I got my laptop right here. I've been editing uh, last night as well. I told you guys that I was gonna be editing and I did and then I just got tired. Drop some likes guys, subscribe. Like for a part two, and I'll see you guys in the next video.